Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot, and this is your February 2022 love reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome to you, and if you're returning, welcome back as always. I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. So this reading is for those of you in a current romantic relationship, or if it comes up, a temporary separation from your person. If you are single and looking for new love, I will be posting separate readings just for you guys. But in the meantime, let's get right into your reading here. We've got chopped wood and we also have regeneration. All right, so sometimes, you know what, this may just be a month forward with the chopped wood card where you're just really um, just focusing on your day to day. The chopped wood card is really about um, experience in everyday, uh, you know, everyday situations. Okay, you're just enjoying your time with your person, you're just getting things done. Um, and just kind of in the mundane kind of doesn't sound so interesting, does it? Um, you know, just, uh, you know, but imagine like, you know, you're just you've got them things to do around the house, or you're just going about your daily life, your daily business. And, you know, sometimes when we do that and we just engage in our person in you know the normal everyday goings on sometimes we form a deeper connection and a deeper bond right think about you know you've um you know you make dinner together um you know you do the dishes together okay or you just you know you go out and run errands and you get groceries and all of these things sounds awfully boring okay but at the same time right it's really just spending time together in the day to day and sometimes that's really just how you form those bonds. It's like, you know what? I got a whole bunch of errands to run today. You want to come with? And they're like, yeah, sure. Why not? Right? And it's not that it's very exciting, but you know what? It's just that togetherness. So really with the chopped wood energy that's coming out here, all is well. Everything's copacetic. Everything is good. Not everything needs to be, you know, um, big flashy kind of things going on in our lives. Sometimes it's just that everyday experiences with our people that form those stronger bonds. All right. Um, we also have the regeneration energy coming up here as well. Okay. Now this is really about a rebirth, a transformation. Okay. This is about a second chance and also new opportunities forming as well. Okay. So this is really first and foremost, if you are in a situation where you're separated from your person, okay, or you're going through a rough patch, um, this regeneration card certainly does represent the a possibility of reconnecting, reigniting that spark, that flame, having that second chance, and maybe even with the chopped wood, okay, the chopped wood card, right? Sometimes you just need to do those day-to-day -day things and to reconnect with your person on a, um, you know, a grounded human kind of level, right? And just sometimes that's what we need to do. Chopped wood also shows just really putting one foot in front of the other. Sometimes we need to um, put a little bit of work in our relationships. And, uh, you know, with the regeneration card there, if you, uh, if you are up to the task and if you are wanting to put the effort into reconnecting or, okay, or even to reviving a spark in a relationship, this energy really does show that potential for doing that. Okay. Something that you may have thought comes to an, had come to an end, has this chance to rebirth, uh, regrow, regroup, renew, okay, reconnect. All right. But the regeneration card can also show this period of growth within your relationship with you and your person. Okay, this sense of new, we're forever in these cycles, right? Um, and that is card number 46. Okay, so it shows you've got a good solid foundation. Okay, things are in balance and harmony, and you may be about to take something to the next level. Okay, very exciting energy. All right, um, you know, so maybe you have an opportunity to do something a little bit different, do something fun, okay, or just experiencing this growth within your relationship and this um, and this partnership that you had. And not everything, again, not everything is flashy and, you know, all of that. Sometimes, you know, that quiet energy is actually really what sticks. So heart of your reading here, the Ten of Cups. Well, look at that. It's not so shabby. All right. Uh, crossing you, we've got the Devil energy coming in here. And beneath you, the Nine of Pentacles recent past. We've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. So some of you have certainly had that release. Okay. So I do see some of you here. You're trying to be happy, maybe trying to make it on your own. Okay. And you really do have this situation here that 
with that devil energy there, okay, maybe you are, um, you know, really attached to a situation or you've got these attachments and you're maybe trying to do things a better way, okay, that, you know, release with that eight of swords and independence with the nine of pentacles. So I do see the potential for some of you here to um, perhaps get together with your person, okay, but the devil card shows that maybe there's some work to be done, all right, but, um, you know, but for others of you, I think you're just free, that ten of cups there, okay, that nine of pentacles, I think you're just really in this uh, energy where you're enjoying your relationship, enjoying your connection, and just kind of enjoying life. Above you, we've got the judgment card, okay, so goals, thoughts, possibilities, the judgment card is very much like that regeneration, sometimes um, you know, for some of you here, your relationship here with that judgment card, you are about to uh, step into that next phase. Okay, that judgment card is a spiritual awakening or a seeing the light and, you know, um, about to, uh, you know, that energy where you're just about to step into that next phase of your relationship. Others of you it brings in forgiveness, second chances, also healing as well. Your near future, we've got the moon card, okay. The moon card sometimes brings in some surprises, but we'll keep going. We've got the magician here in you, your current attitude, and also an advice card. This one is called the creatrix, but that is the magician energy, okay. So what you think about is a very powerful energy coming out here for you, okay. I think whatever it is that you want right now is what you have the ability to get, okay. External environment, we've got the hanged woman, that's the hanged man energy, a little bit of quieter energy as we already see coming in. Hopes and fears, we've got the knight of pentacles and your overall outcome, we've got the king of cups. So look at that, that is beautiful energy. We've got love in the air. All right, the energy at the bottom of your deck here is the two of wands. The two of wands shows, you know, um, that some of you are trying to put some plans in place Okay, you've got both feet on the ground and you're kind of looking out onto the horizon. You're perhaps doing um, a little bit of contemplation there. What is uh, what is on the horizon? What is possible for me? Okay, the two of wands can also just show that, you know, you've got a good solid, um, you know, a good solid uh, relationship there. Okay, and your path forward is just clear. It's just really one of expansion energy, one of you know, um, being open, being receptive, welcoming in someone else's um, ideas, you know, all of those things. Okay, the world really is your oyster. And, you know, whatever, you know, whatever step a stage of your relationship is, okay, I think you are getting to the point here where you can kind of see your way forward clearly. Okay, you're trying to figure out make some plans. I think some of you might actually be um, you know, just making some, uh, the two of wands is of course making plans. Of course it is wands, right? So we do have some, uh, fiery energy that's coming in there. We do have Valentine's day coming up, of course, in the middle of February. Not everybody likes Valentine's day for some of people. It's like, feels like a chore. Um, you know, it's, uh, it can be one of those things where it's either wonderful or it's horrible, right? It's damned if you do damned if you don't sometimes. Okay. But maybe you, with the two of wands, you're making some sort of plans and maybe even, um, like a little quick a romantic getaway or something like that a night on the town okay maybe even a romantic dinner at home something that you prepare with your person and you've got this beautiful warm feeling of togetherness all right but whatever you've got going on we do have the ten of cups right in the center of your reading your main focus is your personal happiness okay your emotional contentment your fulfillment okay your um uh at peace Okay, so really just having a peaceful, happy, warm, loving environment with your person, with your home. Some of you are already here right now. You're just so happy at the moment and you're just really kind of enjoying where you're at, that chopped wood energy. You're just enjoying things day by day. Okay, for others of you, your happiness may be, um, you know, hanging in the mix here. Okay, and it's really your focus, right? It's like, okay, I just want to be happy right? How do I get there? If I'm not there already, how do I get there? Okay. We do have the devil card that's crossing you. Okay. Now this is Capricorn energy, but the devil card crossing you represents something that maybe you need to work through. Okay. Uh, the devil card always requires a little bit of perspective. Um, 
looking at things a little bit differently um, requires usually some boundaries, okay? So I think for some of you, I think that you are going through a little bit of a tough time with your person. Perhaps you have already let your person go. We do have the Eight of Swords in reverse there, okay? Um, and we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is quite often in its uh, independent energy. Okay, so I think some of you, you are, you are either already separated from your person or you may be headed down that road, okay? You're really trying to sort some things out, um, think about some things, okay? This person may have a hold on you or it's just really the most prevalent thing that you've got on your mind right now. And of course, if your relationship is kind of hanging in the weeds there, okay, we quite often do get a little bit obsessive about those things, right? It's like all you can think about. It's a little bit all-consuming sometimes, okay? Um, you know, but I think, uh, I think that you're probably going to be working through some things here. Okay. So the devil, the devil card isn't always a bad card. Okay. It can, but the devil card is all always about those things that, um, you know, are on the surface. They're, they're fun. They're tempting. Okay. All of these things, but they have the potential there to entrap us a little bit. Okay. So there may be some temptations that's going on here. Okay. Um, you know, but there's also, uh, the devil card can also be working hard to make better choices. Okay. The devil card is quite often misunderstood. All right. It's not an evil card. Okay. The devil card is really, um, you know, about our pleasures in our material world. Okay. About the things that are tempting and exciting and all of those things. But again, things that tend to have us, um, you know, we can quickly turn to the dark side. The devil card is really about our shadow aspect of ourselves. Okay, so it could certainly be that on your quest for happiness here, you and your person, um, maybe there is uh, some sort of, um, how shall we say, seduction kind of energy that's coming in here. Some of you may be in a relationship here where it's uh, really just all about the physical pleasure and maybe not about a lot of substance. Okay. And you may be shifting that you may be transforming that it may have started out that way. And now maybe you're starting to develop some feelings about this person. Okay. And sometimes we do have those, uh, you know, what we originally think are just those short lived passionate romances. Okay. And they may sometimes develop into something else before we least expect it. Okay. Um, the devil card can also show you and your person. Okay. You're trying to do things a little bit better, right? Break some patterns, break some habits, behaviors. Okay. Maybe even do something a little bit different. The regeneration energy brings in the, the, uh, energy here, there where you have, might have, um, some new opportunities. Okay. To do something a little bit different or more exciting. Maybe you're, uh, you know, you're really trying to get, um, you know, get a travel, uh, something travel, um, how should we say a little getaway or something like that off the ground. Okay. And trying to make some plans. All right. And especially if something hasn't quite gone your way so far, I think things are maybe opening up for you. Okay. Or maybe you're going to do something a little bit differently. Okay. But there's certainly, uh, some detachment here that's coming in with the devil. Okay. So I think, um, for some of you, you're just letting go of some fears. You're just enjoying your moment with your person. Okay. You're, um, maybe just trying to, um, rekindle a spark of flame as well. Okay. And, uh, really just always brings in an interesting energy when we've got the devil. But I think for others of you, I think you are, uh, you know, trying to sort some things out. This is a little bit of an all consuming energy sometimes. Okay. Um, you know, and especially if you are kind of on the turning point of a relationship, right? Do I let something go? Okay. Is this, it, does this have a chance to move forward and grow? Or is this something that's really not healthy? for me because sometimes of course that devil energy there can represent in a relationship some unhealthy patterns and behaviors so there could certainly be something there that um, requires some attention in the mix but like I said the devil card also brings in this kind of seduction kind of quality okay and uh, so you know perhaps um, you know perhaps you're uh, looking to spice things up a little bit in some way there as well okay and uh, you know but whenever the devil card comes out it always does require some uh, boundaries, okay, um, uh, a reminder to enjoy all of those wonderful pleasures in life, but uh, try not to go too, too overboard there, okay. Um, we do have the nine of pentacles that's in your foundation, your underlying energy here, okay. So I really do think that some of you are really feeling as though 
being single might actually be the best option for you. The nine of pentacles is uh, one of, you know, of being independent and really focusing on yourself, okay, and joining, enjoying those finer pleasures in life but not necessarily one of wanting to be tied down. Okay, so if that's you, all right, there may be some resistance here, okay, because if you've been very happy being very independent and now you're in a relationship, maybe it didn't start off as anything serious, but maybe now you're starting to have some feelings here, okay, this may be something that there's uh, a little bit of resistance for, right? It's like, hmm, I don't want to lose my independence, okay? But I think some of you might also be making that decision that being uh, alone, okay, Okay, or letting something go, devil card, letting something go, okay, may actually be beneficial for you. Okay, um, you know, and we do have, it's quite a complicated energy that's coming out for you guys. So it's just because there's a couple of different kind of storylines in here. All right, so uh, some of you are going to be letting something go or that's your feeling that that's your best option. Some of you are repairing something, okay, and others of you, you're just really enjoying your vibe, okay, and maybe you're just kind of, um, you know, really enjoying the finer things in life, okay, and the nine of pentacles can certainly represent um, enjoying the finer things in life, okay, um, having that sense of accomplishment, okay, that sense of personal fulfillment, and we do have that ten of cups there as well, okay, and I think just some of you are just really uh, enjoying your moment, um, perhaps even treating yourself to something, okay, Okay, and uh, enjoying the fruits of your labor, so to speak. Okay, and just enjoying your time with your person. Okay, you've let a lot of things go. You've done um, a lot of work on your relationship, and now it's just the time to enjoy where you're at. And you know, sometimes in doing that, we deepen that bond. Okay, so uh, you know, so again, we've kind of got like three different um, interesting storylines coming in here for you guys. So choose whichever one is relevant for you. All right. But we do have the eight of pentacles uh, in, re or sorry, the eight of swords in reverse that's in your recent past. Now time is fluid, especially with all of these major arcana coming out here. Um, the recent past can be today. It can be yesterday. It can be a month or two ago. And the eight of swords in reverse shows a beautiful release. Okay, normally the Eight of Swords in the upright is about being um, being trapped or restricted, usually by your own way of thinking, okay, and, you know, but the Eight of Swords in reverse is thinking things a little, thinking about things a little bit differently, releasing your fears, your worries, your doubts, okay, the sense of freedom, okay, spread your wings and fly, okay, so for some of you, you have gone through a lot of hard work, this devil card there, okay, that's crossing you, this is really about releasing old patterns, habits, behaviors, and things, um, that eight of swords is that release energy, and now you're just really kind of enjoying the moment, enjoying the vibe, okay, and, uh, you know, again, it's maybe a little something a little bit tempting there, enjoying some uh, material pleasure, shall we say, Okay, but I think for others of you, you have come to the conclusion here that perhaps releasing a relationship may actually be quite beneficial for you. Okay, um, and you have perhaps, uh, you perhaps you're even with that Eight of Swords, you're in this energy here where um, you're gaining your strength your personal authority, okay, shall we say, and you're making the right decisions for you, okay, and sometimes we're afraid to let go of things, we're afraid to let go of relationships because we're unsure of if we'll be okay, right, am I, am I going to be okay on my own, the nine of pentacles shows that yes, you will be, whatever you're deciding, whatever energy that you've got going on, okay, that the nine of pentacles shows that whatever your situation is, you're going to be okay, Okay, so, you know, I think for some of you, you are facing your fears here and you will be letting something go. But for others of you here, I think that Eight of Swords really is about getting things out in the open. Okay, and, you know, talking about things. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? All of these things. And, you know, now this Devil card here can um, certainly be about um, trying to make better choices, better habits. Okay, um, you know, breaking a cycle even. Um, with that, sometimes devil card represents some toxic cycles that over and over and over again. And I think for some of you, you may actually have reconciliation on the brain. Okay. And that may be a possibility for you provided, okay, I'm feeling there's a stipulation here, provided your person is willing to do what it takes 
um, to make change within themselves and also within your relationship. And I'm getting a little bit of a stubborn energy coming out here. It's like, no, you know what? I These are my... Uh, these are my um, stipulations. This is what I'm looking for. I'm willing to put in the work. Are you? And if that answer is no, then I think you're okay with letting something go. Okay. But others of you, I think you're just kind of enjoying your ride, enjoying your vibe. So I think you've done a lot of heavy lifting already. The judgment card is crowning you. The judgment card uh, can certainly sometimes represent a spiritual connection and bond between your person. The judgment card is really when a lot of truths come to light. Okay, no more hiding. If there's been anything hiding in the shadows there with that devil energy, the judgment card is bringing everything right out into the open. Okay, and you know, it can certainly represent the judgment card quite often represented by Archangel Michael to help us release attachments and ties to bring things out of the darkness into the light. Okay, get everything out in the open. We can sometimes let bygones be bygones with the judgment card, okay? And we're feeling just really connected and elevated in our energy with our person. And, you know, of course, the judgment card is where we kind of, you know, have a little bit of a reflection on things, okay? And we release anything from our past and we move forward, okay, with that sense of freedom. So you and your person are just moving forward and you're in a really good place here, okay? You've done a lot of work, all right? And you're uh, just enjoying the ride. You're enjoying your connection with them, okay? I think for others of you, you are really in this energy here where you're willing to let certain things go, Okay, and you know, you and your person just have this really good vibe here. All right, the judgment card is, you know, also about forgiveness, reconciliation, second chances as well. Okay, so I think for some of you, you're perhaps, um, you know, uh, you and your person, you're just going to get everything out in the open, you're going to get on the same page. And perhaps you are going to agree to release something the full the moon card here um, can can be about a completion of a cycle releasing something okay with that full moon uh it also brings in some emotions to the mix as well but the nine of pentacles and independent energy okay and we've got fresh energy coming in here as well with that magician card okay things um you know really are uh with the hanged man energy there okay you're taking your time to really think about things okay before making there's no rash decisions here whatever your situation is so i think if you're ready to let something go i think you're very feeling very good about it. Okay. Um, always a difficult decision, but I think that you're going to be, you're going to come out, um, better on the other end for it. So, um, it's like, okay, a lesson learned, or maybe this experience, um, you know, with the judgment card, you're reflecting on your experience and you're like, you know what? I think I needed this for a certain reason. Okay. I think I needed this and now I know what I want going forward and maybe what you want is independence. Okay. But the judgment card, of course, can also be about um, second chances, as can the regeneration card, okay? Or again, um, maybe even just, um, you know, uh, rekindling a flame, <clears throat> excuse me, with your relationship, right? Doing something a little bit different, okay? So whatever your situation is there, the judgment card brings you that spiritual advice, that spiritual energy, and that sense of seeing everything out in the open, nothing hiding in the shadows. It's like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and seeing those answers that you're looking for, okay? If you are looking for any, but others, I think you're gonna just have this peaceful energy that's surrounding you. All right, we do have the moon card in your near future. So to me, sometimes the moon card can bring in some love and romance, okay? Because it does bring all these emotions and these energies up to the surface, okay? So for some of you, I think you've got some really beautiful romance in your future, okay? Um, but the moon card can also be, um, you know, where we really do bring things from our subconscious into, um, you know, into a different light. Okay. We look at things a little bit differently. Okay. Um, your psychic awareness is certainly heightened. Okay. And I think that you and your person just have a very spiritual bond. Okay. And, you know, especially with this, uh, energy coming out. I just think you and your person are in a really good place. Okay. You've got this really good deep bond. Okay. Your emotions are connected. Okay. Your, 
uh, your uh, higher selves are connected. And I think it's just a beautiful, um, a beautiful union, a beautiful connection that you've got here with your person, um, especially with the King of Cups coming out here at the end, the Judgment card, Ten of Cups, even the Nine of Pentacles, even though it can be a solitary energy. Um, so the nine of pentacles can also represent you in your relationship, just really enjoying the moment, enjoying your time. Okay. So I really think that some of you just have this really, really deep, wonderful, beautiful connection with your person. If you've been through some rocky patches, I think you're letting some things go. Okay. And you're like letting bygones be bygones, or you're just really entering into this level of acceptance, accepting you and your person for who you are. And you're just kind of on that same page. Okay. Um, and if there is any challenges or obstacles that you're dealing with, okay, uh, I think you have the ability here to really see everyone's point of view. Okay. Uh, to, talk about things, right? You're not keeping anything hidden in the shadows. Okay. You're, um, really talking about things and getting things out in the open, but the moon card can sometimes represent things that are hidden in the shadows. Okay. So, um, you know, and that's when things really do come to the surface. So the devil card can be certainly something that's bugging you. Okay. Um, within your relationship, the judgment card shows that maybe there's some repara uh, repairs to be made. Okay. Some uh, to restore your faith in your person. Okay. Or restore the relationship in the moon card here, I feel is where you're going to kind of get some things um, really out in the open. The judgment card, you want to get things out in the open. That's your conscious thoughts. Okay. And also your goals. And the moon card is where you start to kind of do that emotional deep dive. Okay. With your person. All right. So um, I think for some of you, you're doing a lot of really deep emotional healing and, um, uh, you know, really starting to get things out in the open with your person, because how can you make a, uh, how can you make a decision about your future? Okay. When things are hidden in the shadows. All right. So, um, out of the shadows into the light with that judgment card. Okay. And it's important to do, um, whether you are thinking of letting something go or whether you're looking at getting, giving someone a second chance. All right. It's really important to make sure that you get everything out in the open. Okay. But the moon card can certainly be about that wrapping up of cycles. Um, you know, and you know, also about letting something go, right. As is the judgment card can also be about letting something go. The devil card in the, um, in the challenge position can also be about letting something go. Okay. Um, releasing those bonds. Okay. So I do have to say that there, but the moon can also bring about a little bit of healing as well. Okay. Also sometimes something that you didn't quite expect. Okay. So you might get some surprises there that are coming in with the moon. Okay. Um, you know, both positive and wonderful and things that make you happy, but also things I think that maybe come up from either you or you or your person. Okay. And things that maybe, um, cause you to think about things a little bit differently there with that moon card. Okay. So, but certainly a lot of emotions do come to the surface with the moon. And of course, sometimes a little bit of a surprise, sometimes that sense of, um, accomplishment wrapping up those cycles. Okay. And, you know, of course, uh, looking at things from all angles, but also I am getting a little bit of romance that's coming in here as well with that moon card. Okay. Cause it really does bring about all those emotions up to the surface. And of course we do have Valentine's day partway through your month as well. Okay. So I think some of you are probably getting a little bit of a surprise partway through the month, something that's really very wonderful. Maybe something with that devil crossing you, something that you've wanted for a while maybe something that you've been obsessing over for a while, possibly. Okay. And it's, you know, the devil card again, doesn't have to be anything bad, right? Sometimes it can be just those things that we kind of obsess over a little bit. Okay. Um, you know, and, uh, so yeah, so you could be, uh, could be getting that maybe your person just surprises you with something. Okay. So, uh, sometimes expect the unexpected when the moon card comes out there. All right. But the moon can sometimes bring out that healing as well and have us facing our fears as well. Our deeper fears, our subconscious. Okay. And then facing them and doing what is right for us and making the right decisions. Okay. For us. So, um, you know, um, both that deeper connection and possibly letting go, but again, um, you may have a potential here to um, reconnect. So we do have the magician here. So really, you are in the driver's seat 
okay? And, you know, the thing is, is that if the Magician card really does bring in the energy of using all of your resources to create some magic into your life, okay, to create those opportunities or to really um, bring about what you're really wanting and what you really desire, okay? So whatever it is that you are focused on, whatever um, direction you want to take, whatever you want to attract into your life or whatever you makes you happy, okay, you have that um, opportunity here in the month forward to make those decisions, to focus on your end game, okay? To focus on those things that you really want. And when we have the devil energy coming up here with the magician, there is this big heads up here that, you know, if you are manifesting anything, okay, um, in your journey, in your relationship here, the moon can certainly be about manifestation. The magician, of course, manifestation. Um, same with the 10 of cups, right? It's like, whoa, baby. All right, same with the nine of pentacles. But um, with the devil card crossing here, it's just a little bit of a warning, okay, is to make sure that if you are on a manifestation journey of any kind or whatever it is that you want in your relationship, focus on those things that you want, okay, never the things that you don't want, okay, where do you want to go, what do you want to improve, what do you want to attract into your relationship, okay, where do you want, where do you want this relationship to go, Okay, what do you want to resolve? All of these things, right? Always um, focus on your solutions, focus on the positive, focus on the on the love, the connection, the moving forward, focus on the healing. Okay, the judgment card can bring in healing. The moon can sometimes bring healing as well. Okay, and you know, always focus on those things and not the negative. Okay, the devil card, right? Don't focus on those things. Focus on, okay, understand what the issue or the problem is, if there is one. Okay, understand what it is, but then focus on that forward movement. Okay, and focus on overcoming those things and making the right choices because you are really are in the driver's seat here with this magician card. Okay, and you really do have, um, you know, this energy here where whatever it is that you want, you can get. Okay, so you really are in that position of power. The hanged woman is the energy that's surrounding you. Okay, this is uh, this is one of quiet contemplation, and this is also one of. Eh, you know, not a lot really happening. Okay. I think there's a lot of emotions that are coming to the surface in February. I think you're working. Some people are working through some things, but I think others of you, you're just hanging out. Okay. The hanged man. It's like, you know what? It's right in, right in line with that chopped wood energy. Okay. Right in line with that 10 of cups, the nine of pentacles, even the devil card there. Okay. Um, you know, because some of you might be trying something a little bit different, trying something new, or maybe even being seduced a little bit there in the month of February, but otherwise the hanged man, um, the hanged woman in this deck, I think you're just in a position where you're just kind of, you know, you're, don't have a lot of necess not a lot of things necessarily going on within your relationship. You're enjoying the moment. You're just taking your time. You're just, um, you know, open to your person. They're open to you and you're just going with the flow a little bit, right? The hanged woman is not necessarily any kind of major outward activity. And that chopped wood there is, uh, you know, really kind of in line with that. But the hanged woman is also about surrender, okay? Surrender or even sacrifice, okay? And, you know, if there's been something that has been holding you down, okay, that devil energy, something that has had a hold over you or your person, I think you're just letting some things go. You're just going with the flow, okay? And that hanged man is where we just kind of surrender. We just let things go sometimes, okay? But the hanged, the hanged man energy is also where we open up, to somebody else's ideas, opinions, um, thoughts, way of doing things. Okay. We're open and we're receptive to someone else's point of view. Um, this brings in a very important energy of being able to see and understand someone else's side of the story. So if you're going through a bumpy patch here with that devil energy there, you certainly do have the potential with that 10 of cups to repair a situation. Okay. Or to, again, open yourself up to someone else's um, uh, energy and point of view and see their side of the story and step into a level of deeper understanding 
with your person. Okay. Um, you know, sometimes it's a little bit of hard work. Sometimes we're stubborn double energy. Sometimes we're stubborn and closed off, and then sometimes we do need to open up. Okay. So it feels like the hanged man is serving a huge purpose for you as is the judgment card. Okay. To, um, help you see the truth, help you see the light, help you see someone else's opinions or points of view and have that deeper level of understanding. And so that you can either get over a bump in the road, you can repair, you can do things a little bit differently. You can have that different, fresh energy, different way of thinking, or you can let something go. Okay. That can certainly go both ways, but others of you, I think you're just kind of enjoying the moment. Okay. With that hanged woman, I think you're just enjoying the moment, enjoying the vibe. Okay. And you're just really, uh, in this, um, lovely experience with you and your person. Okay. Not like super exciting as I already said at the beginning, but necessary right? Necessary to have that bond, that connection. All right. But I think your person may actually surprise you as well, or you might surprise yourself. Again, sometimes the moon card brings out some surprises, okay? things that are hidden. Okay. And the devil energy, again, something really exciting can come in with that devil card there. So I don't know. I think some of you have a little new and exciting adventure or uh, a gift or a surprise that's coming up there. All right. Maybe even, uh, little quick romantic getaway somewhere. Ooh la la. So your, um, your, uh, hopes and your fears, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles can certainly represent an offer or a gift. So maybe there's something that you're secretly hoping for. You're secretly wanting here and you're really hoping that you're going to get it. Okay. Um, you know, this could be, um, you know, this could be a offer of commitment. Okay. Maybe some, you know, maybe you're hoping someone's going to buy you a present. Okay. Or something like that. The Knight of Pentacles can certainly represent that. Okay, um, you know, but the Knight of Pentacles also brings about some patience, brings about, um, you know, an energy of hard work. Okay. And, you know, perhaps if you're in a, a sketchy spot with your person and if there's something worth salvaging here, okay, or you're kind of like on that turning point in your relationship, I think really here with the Knight of Pentacles, you're really hoping for someone to put in the time and energy and effort into your relationship, both you and your person get on the same page. Okay. And really be committed for the long haul. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. Energy, and we have a slow moving energy with the hanged woman here as well. Okay. Again, there's not a lot of fast forward momentum here at all. Okay. There's a lot of emotions, a lot of inner work, a lot of enjoyment, a lot of pleasure. Okay. But this also this deep contemplation here. So I think some of you are really hoping that, um, you know, that you and your person can really focus on your relationship, focus on where you want to go. Okay. To overcome some problems and some challenges. And I think you're really hopeful that you will get there. Okay. I think for others of you, you're, again, you're really kind of hoping for maybe a surprise or a commitment or maybe an engagement or something, uh, something like that. Okay. Maybe even just to enjoy where you're at and not have any worries or challenges along the way. And that could certainly be it for you there. All right. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, but I also think for some of you that, you know, that Knight of pentacles, um, can certainly, you know, maybe represent, examining all of your options and then making the right choice. Okay. For yourself. All right. And you're really hoping that whatever choice that you make, that you'll be okay and that you can still move forward and that maybe, you know, one door closes, another one may open somewhere down the road. But in the meantime, that nine, nine of pentacles here, um, I think whatever your situation is, you're going to be okay. Okay. So you're going to make the right choices for yourself. And the Knight of Pentacles isn't necessarily one of choices, um, per se. Um, but it certainly is one of, um, you know, really being diligent. Okay. And really looking at, um, you know, uh, really looking at something from all angles. Um, the Knight of Pentacles takes their time, um, is really focused on the task at hand. Um, doesn't make sudden moves. Okay. But doesn't leave any stone unturned. Okay. So it's like all of the I's are dotted, all of the T's are crossed, all of the options are examined, and then a decision is made. 
Okay, so I think you're really hoping that whatever your situation is, that the right decision will be made for you, okay, and that, you know, whether you move forward with your with your person or not, um, I, you know, that you're just really wanting and hoping that you're making the right choice, okay? So some of you, again, are kind of in a little bit of a, a tough spot, okay, but I think no matter how your situation plays out, no matter what's going on, um, I think you're going to be okay. The King of Cups... Um, as your overall outcome here shows love and romance, okay? So I certainly do think that for, you know, for the majority of you, for the collective of you here, I think you're just going to be um, in a really good spot with your person, okay? Uh, we've got the love and the romance that comes in with the King of Cups, okay? Um, uh, stability in your relationship, okay? There's a lot of love uh, that's in this connection, okay? And it's just really this sense of success, security and accomplishment okay everyone's on the same page and everyone is really really good the king of cups can certainly also represent a healing energy that comes in okay two people being back on the same page king of cups can sometimes be a little bit of sweep you off your feet energy so i think some of you are really going to heal and repair whatever you've got going on you're going to let some things go and you're really going to be back in the driver's seat okay and moving forward and really, um, you know, kind of um, letting bygones be bygones and maybe even starting fresh, starting on a fresh foot. I think for those of you who are possibly leaving a relationship or making that final decision, the King of Cups shows that you have taken charge, you've taken the lead in your life and you have followed your heart and you've done what's right for you. And the King of Cups shows that you are emotionally aware, you are emotionally stable, and that this brings in happiness for you as well, okay? Your personal happiness, doing what is right for you, okay? So no matter what your situation is that you've got going on, no matter where you are in your relationships, that King of Cups really does show that positive energy, those really lovely emotions, okay, that sense of healing, okay, that love and romance, all right, and just really that emotional fulfillment that is coming in, that sense of accomplishment, whether you are alone or with your person, <clears throat> okay, so a little bit of a complicated energy that's coming out here. Uh, things always get a little bit weird uh, sometimes when that devil shows up there. Okay, but again, there's like three totally separate storylines coming in here. So for some of you, you're just enjoying the ride. Everything is great with your person and there's a lot of love, a lot of connection. Okay, a lot of romance that's coming in here for you. Um, you know, um, others of you, yep, you're at this turning point. Okay, you're making some decisions. You do have an opportunity to heal. Okay, um, you know, it does take a little bit of work, of course, it always does. And then for others of you, I think you're maybe making a decision that, you know, a physical relationship that may not necessarily be the best for you. Okay, if that's you, or that maybe there's just something here that doesn't have a lot of long term potential. <clears throat> All right. And you might be looking for long-term potential, but this devil card here, it's like, nah, I don't think so. Okay, this is probably not my person. All right, and you're making the right choice for yourself, and you're feeling really good about your decisions. <clears throat> All right, and so I'm going to leave those there, okay, and but I'm going to close out your reading here with a couple of lover's oracle cards so last messages please for people watching the moon card is pisces energy by the way if uh, i didn't already mention that and i don't think i did the devil card is capricorn energy all right and let's just see so i've got that one i'm gonna pull that one and one more please that one so there's your first card and it says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Okay, and there's that nine of pentacles energy kind of coming out. Sometimes uh, the devil card brings out our fears, as does the moon. Okay, and sometimes we're afraid of losing our independence in a relationship. And that can be uh, kind of something hard to get over. Okay, that can certainly be something that is a bit of a worry. OK, um, and, you know, maybe even a repeating pattern. Right. So you might end, be that type of person sometimes that ends up in a codependent relationship and the devil card shows that you're putting your foot down. It's like, no, I'm not going to repeat this cycle anymore. 
All right, there's your next card. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give yourself. Okay, that's for those people who are looking to make those important decisions for you to follow your heart. All right, and there's your final card, forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And there is the judgment card and the magician card all rolled into one. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you, Cancer. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. Um, if there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.